Oh, Zamba not going to be too happy about this one because it is such a difficult match for Rob to land and touch the ground, period, against Falco. As we start things off here with KK Slider, get ready to close out the night for us. <laughs> See you the know, weekly grand, grand finals, finals, best of three. <laughs> it's best of five, don't worry, folks. It's best of five, it's really best of five. We'll tomorrow, it's best of five. <laughs> I love Devin, man. Here we go, Xeno Classic, like we said, started things off hot already. To, uh, oh, good jump snipe, though. He's going to be forced to recover straight on. That was a really smart adjustment, because you do not want to take that side. Be at best, you take a fair. Right out the gate, one thing I'm going to highlight to anyone who's seeing this for the first or second time, these two have quite literally played in tournament almost 20 individual times. That's great. The level of Yomi these two are on is astronomical. That's you like, are not going to be looking up this matchup in a traditional manner of Rob versus Falco. To its core, this is very much Tilde versus Zamba because of how many little adjustments mm -hmm. they need to make to each other's habits and each other's approach to their characters. That's like we said, we call it the roommate reads. After you play somebody for so long, you start adjusting to the player habits more so than the character matchup. And that's where your conditioning comes in. That's where your ability to approach in neutral comes in. Baits, good baits at that. As we see this matchup be, uh, continue to progress, it's going to be based heavily on ledge trapping for Zamba because I don't think he wants to fight center stage near that platform whatsoever against Tilde. As we see him Pulls out that stock perfectly. You see how well he's able to play at the legend off stage. He's just able to consistently bleed out those options from Tilde. No matter how well Tilde mixes them up or times his options. Exactly. Oh, good. But that's actually half decent punish. Gets the forward tilt, gets the tech chase. But jump near. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you go to the skies. Try and mix up your landing. Gets the air dodge by. Not enough though. Look at the amount of damage he takes just for one good hit from Tilde. And now finding his landing, the fast fall neutral air dodge, I think, brilliant from Zamba. Exactly, keeping that up. As we see him find that up air, just continuing to pressure him right now. What does he do about the gyro in hand? Good fade back. Oh! <laughs> you know what? It, he ended up killing himself, but I approve of that so much. I love it. Thank you, Tilde, for going for that reversal side feed to get the spike. And sometimes you got to be a little saucy with it. You got a lot of games to play with, especially if you're up Tilde, who is so confident that he can reset this bracket and take the gold. Exactly. As you see him right now, just keep that on. Yeah, have that back, please. Thank you very much. I do not want to play with that. As he tries to land three, three nairs, four nairs. Can we get more? Zamba currently fighting the Holy Ghost. Is that we're not? We're actually we're, we're not at Sunday. <gasps> we're not at Sunday. We're gonna avoid Sunday, folks. We are definitely avoiding Sunday. Wow! Because this is gonna be a very fast. Your pace brain grant. is massive. Your the, you are okay. So converting. You Converting off of the kill on the gyro, capitalizing. Let's go ahead and run it right back. All right, so we're going to toss that up. We're going to wait. I knew you were going to swing with that Nair. I knew you were going to bounce off that gyro, and I knew I was going to take this first game. Being a bit uh, risky with these arm rotors got Zama killed not once, but twice. Oh, totally taking worth it in every very, time. very cool fashion. So worth in that position right there. Just go ahead, go for the side B. Just go ahead, capitalize it, close out. And I like incredible gameplay in general from Tilde. Just making sure that he doesn't let Zombo feel like he could safely go for those side Bs off stage. It's a, normally, it's a move that works so well in Tilde favor when you consider the fact that he's able to cross up constantly, he's able to find hits. You see what happens with the spike box. Normally, it'll restand you and put you in perfect position to get comboed. If you shield that, Zamba, at minimum, is finding a forward tilt and a little bit of damage. But the counter hit that he can find can be so big. And on a stage like Small Battlefields, you have to deal with a lot of of opportunities for these counter hits to cash in really heavy. Just look at the way that Zamba's been able to build up this damage so far. And that's in very heavy scrambles. We haven't really seen an opportunity where Zamba's able to make one of these little hits go into a long extension. It's just been a very bombastic start to this game, too, that Tilde's going to manage to come out on top of. Exactly. Keeping that going. That's the big thing. Just like advantage state. Making sure you control it over and over again. But we are at throw ranges. Almost getting hit by the down air. And knowing the gap. Okay. Oh, you whipped that down air. I'm going to get on back on stage with this forward air. Good air dodge as well. Now he's got to take a big string here because you ain't avoiding that. Rob has such a hard time getting away from combo-based characters. So that's why they don't like Bayonetta either. 
it doesn't help that once again Zama keeps on putting out this arm rotor. He knows it's gonna kill, but you gotta go for certainties in these kind of situations. And at 170, you best be certain. Up those killing off a plat. Absolutely. All right, getting the mix up once again, just staying directly underneath him on the platform. That's why these platform states are so good. But at the same time, I, like part of me thinks, even if he went to something like FD, there's not many places for Zampa to land still. So until they can still get in and get those combos, it's almost like the stage, the stage is just anything that's good for Zampa doesn't benefit him the same way because still they likes him too. And there he gets that anti air out smash as he cruises here with this lead. He's just doing such a good job of anti air. Like, he's not even just going for the combo pickups. Mm -hmm. Up smash is a plenty because he knows the damage is just that important. He's and also just making sure to deny that space where Zamba could potentially be on the ground, where those faster buttons are much more lethal. Because yep. you don't want to deal with dash attack or forward tilt or kind of a down tilt. Absolutely. Oh, there we go. A couple up tilts on deck. See what he can do about the ledge up. That's your jump. And he tries to go. Once again, the amount of... Zamba needs to adjust to that at some point. Like, it, it's, it's hindsight is 2020, but that's the second time we've seen Tilde go for a high recovery in what was a very obvious low recovery punish. So, Zamba keeps... Letting Tilde get back up free almost in that, but there's the back air. No, the Nair actually. So 141, or pretty much straight at this point, takes it out. Definitely. It could be an up air. It could be a back air. Not that back air, though. <laughs> yeah, we need we need a, a much sweeter back air down tilt. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, for, yep, you're forcing that air dodge. You were dead the moment you did, but at the same time, you're almost dead if you don't. <laughs> like, that spot is so rough, especially because of how much jet fuel you already used. You pretty much can't stall going up at that point. Tilde puts himself in a 2 0 lead. The way that Tilde is playing, I would not be surprised to see a bracket reset mm -hmm. right now. Zamba is not adjusting swift enough to the way that Tilde is pressing aggressively. Yeah, and I mean, we said it before. Uh, Tilde is playing like he's planning to win this whole thing. And that is obviously a pretty cliche statement, but he really is. He, he's After going down to losers, he has been just tearing through everyone. I have not seen anybody look super comfortable against Tilde, period, uh, as we've seen him cruise through losers. I said it at the beginning of the day, and I brought it up again at the beginning of this top eight. Tilde plays like a man who has something to prove in every mm -hmm. single game that he is in. He is playing for his life to show that he is the best. And, and he can't afford to let anyone slow him down in proving that. And the biggest thing with the best players in the game is just that fear. You don't put it in them. And that's, we've said it time again, how do you condition someone who has no fear? You, it, especially as Rob, who needs to keep you grounded, who needs to keep you from pressing so many buttons out of disadvantage. But he, Zamba, getting quite a bit of damage, actually giving up stage position there and now forcing him into a left trap. Look at that, all going for one B reverse gyro. And he's t he took 43, luckily he didn't take that much more. Like, Zamba was very quick to make sure that interaction ended with him at center stage. And this is something that we've highlighted against Tilde's opponents already, where you need to make sure that you don't find yourself by Whoa. the ledge. Dead center stage and a dead Tilde to open up this game too. Exactly. Game three, sorry. Yeah, game three right here. We're trying to see if Tilde gets the reset in a 3 0 fashion or if Zamba has something to say about it. We're starting to see Zamba actually have something to put behind that, but the up tilt, the bear pushing him off stage. Forcing him to air dodge, but that gyro actually going to convert. And the gyro in the way, so he pretty much couldn't go for a defensive option there. Oh. Yep, tracing along without oh committing to being God, in the air. Oh my God, that was such Phenomenal a dominant stock. Phenomenal stock. Such a dominant stock there coming in from uh, from Zamba. And just actually capitalizing big. Until they now for the first time looking like he actually has a chance to bleed. And you want to know something? It's something that you've brought up over and over again within this set alone, and also throughout Tilde's run, how well he's playing off these hits in the air. That was one of the first times that we saw Zaba stay towards the ground and then leave it recklessly. Tilde ripped him apart for it. Yeah, catching him with it now. This is still very uncomfortable for Zaba until you see that word game pop up because of things like this double dare trying to get him and then trades out. He's going to capitalize big, but the just misses, so the falling up air, and now catch him swinging a lot of disadvantages. I like the attempt at the dash attack, just missing. But Zamba, Bob Zamba, I'm waiting. Like, wait for that swing out of disadvantages. Look for that, exactly like what Tilde's doing. You need to wait for him. It's that patience that's brought Tilde this far, because it's not that he's just rapidly pressing a lot of these punish buttons. He's waiting for the right time to press out these buttons. Exactly. It's all about mixing up your timing on the landing. You cannot go for the same options all the time, otherwise it's not a mix-up anymore. And that Nair is going to push him deep off stage. Pretty much can go for a fair. You don't even need to go for side B at this point. The aggressive Phantasm, though, gets him on. I, honestly, I don't, I don't even feel comfortable for Zamba here. I'm looking at this, and Gyro is right in the way. All right, now you can feel comfortable. You got the air knocked out, and that puts the point on.
Great job. And I'm honestly I'm kind of surprised with that. The amount of times that we saw Tilt they immediately jump out of any pressure worked out very well there. Uh, calling out that hard read air dodge down because that's something we don't really see too much out of uh, Tilt they so far in this matchup. But Zamba saw his opportunity and he took it. Why I think Z Zamba shook his head after this interaction. And my guess <laughs> is he was not positioned right for Tilde falling directly down. But Tilde bought into it. He air dodged into it. That's big on him. That's always so funny to me. Whenever I see somebody like win and then just shake their heads, like, man, I ain't deserve He's that. He's not I, satisfied. I, yeah, he wants, he wants guarantee. He wants more. He wants to know for sure that he's going to get the kill. But it brings us to game four, AJ. It brings us to a position now for the first time in this Grand Finals where we have to question Tilde's ability to win on <laughs> win this set. I feel like Zamba's done a really good job of being able to pick up the pieces and adapt, but he's been doing so very slowly. And I think that's why it looks so obvious for Tilde to be able to take games one and two. But here, if Zamba can maintain these adaptations while keeping up the pressure he's built on, game five is almost imminent. Exactly. I mean, I'll be real with y'all. I kind of want to see the reset right now, but it's all good because I actually I love seeing adjustments. I love seeing uh, the way that like Zamba is adjusting around the way he's playing right now. Finds his hit, and just like that, Tilde gonna go ahead. He's gonna get that first stock of Game Four, and he's done so very comfortably. The fact that Game Four is bringing itself through small battlefield up and down, left and right, all on Tilde's call is what's making it so easy for Tilde to find these counter hits, build up a lot of damage, and also to neglect the ability of Zamba to be able to find those important hits. But a really good aerial catch on the up air, and less than stellar DI is going to tie up the stocks with Zamba taking minimal damage. Yeah, and that time, actually, remember I said before, Zamba's been letting him recover high from the ledge for free multiple times. That time, Zamba actually capitalized on it, so now he can't take that root safely anymore. But gets the drag down, up throw, gets the up air. Actually goes for down air, gets him again, trying to mix him up on the up till afterwards. That's the thing with this matchup, man. Every time these two fight, or every time Tilde gets a hold of a Rob, sure, you got a lot of damage on me. You may have what you think is a couple lead. All I need one hit goes straight to 97. Yeah, but even then, if you don't secure that kill, that's a decent amount of rage, which we've seen Zamba multiple times able to make really good use of. And the way that Zamba is boxing out from center stage, it's a game plan that's worked phenomenally for Tilde, but right now I think Zamba's making much better use of that general game plan because you can find traps like that. Calling out with the back air is such a good look for Zamba. Great job, because the gyro is right there too, so you know that he doesn't want to hold shield for too long because he's afraid of getting grabbed while the gyro comes to poke him. He calls out the jump with that back air. Now Tilde, actually, we said it before, but now it's actually looking like Tilde has that chance to bleed. It looks like he's, you know, as the set goes on, Zamba, you said it before, a classic. He's going to figure him out. It's some point as we see him start to slowly work his way what could be a game five like Zamba's stayed on a path that's allowing him to adapt to Tilde's movement and while Tilde is still staying very fluid in his own right it's keeping the game competitive not one player has been able to really make it look in this game and the previous who's gonna pull forward but Armoroder putting us into position where Zamba is gonna find a down air and bring us into game five all the way to game number five. At this point, you kind of expect it between these two. It is incredibly well played from Zamba to come back after what was really some painful like games, those first two, but times it out, catches them. This could be the end of Tilde's run here. If Zamba's able to pump the brakes on him, as you see Tilde stopping and thinking really hard about what he needs to do to possibly force the reset. It looked like we're going back to small battlefield, AJ. So. As a stage, we know Tilde can play this out well. We know that he has the game plan. We've seen him execute, but Zamba's adapting, mm -hmm. and the adaptations are looking really good. Game three, put the thought in our heads. Game four, solidified it. Zamba, slowly but surely, mm -hmm. picked up on the habits that he needed to exploit. And here in game five on Small Battlefield, Zamba may very well be in position to end the night on a reverse 3-0. Yeah, now I want to point, I'm going to reach back to a recent set where Tilde was fighting against Mars. Tilde went up two games, and then Mars ran it back, but he closed it out in a very solid game five. Tilde is usually pretty good at doing that. However, though, I think you're on point. T Zamba has even though like, Tilde's been able to get a few hits here and there, it seems like Zamba isn't playing scared anymore. Vanton, you should definitely be scared. After getting mixed on multiple jabs like, like that, there's the ant up to the Oh, but this is Zamba's combo now. 
That was incredible. I, I, I kind of, I, to be honest, I kind of wish Tilda got a stock out of that. But we're not going to be able to see it finish. Right now, we're on even game. We're ne Now we're at throw percents. Now down throw, up air, we'll take it out on some good DI or even up smash as we're seeing try to get the tech chase with the laser. I like the idea, but it only would have worked if it was fully charged laser. Mm -hmm. That little bit of laser, just not enough. But Zamba's still on the hunt. That's still there at 143. And off of up throw, gonna kill? Yes, even with good DI. Gonna get the kill there at 164. Not much you could do. Stalling out using the jet. And luckily for him, he was fa far enough into the stage to not die there. But you see, Tilde on the hunt as he catches him. Knew the Nair was coming. Luckily for Zom, it looks like he's kept his composure pretty well there. He just kind of wiped his hand off. like, no, it's fine. It's all good. I was obvious at that point. I'm gonna not going to be so obvious as you are right now. Catching him with these uh, high recoveries and calling him out. But now, the up tilt. Oh, the falls on the up tilt. That could have been huge for Tilde. Just really good DI, opting to go to the ledge, and because of the scramble of the situation, Tilde not finding a proper punish, even though he has consistently been able to pick apart his opponents at the ledge. Exactly, and now Tilde starting to try, it looks like Tilde's playing more grounded now. He's not trying to jump nearly as much because he's been jump checked because of stuff like that. That back air won't get to kill, but there's his jump. Now he's supposed to recover, uh, oh, Ooh. straight on. He had the roll read, he gets the jab lock, that's a stock! And now Zamba goes up here, two stocks up in the what could be the last game, unless Tilde finds a good edge guard like we're seeing him do so far. He needs a phenomenal combo to seamlessly lead into his kill. He needs to bring this to tight stock and bring Zamba to a screeching halt. And we're seeing it right now. He got a couple of hits. He found that forward air, but Zamba got, it, it wasn't as um, enough to put fear in him. He's still out of up tilt back air range, so he's not gonna die. Even right here, he gets the up tilt nair, but now he's within that range. He needs to get a safe landing, get that damage on, annoy Tilde a bit by going for some reckless trade so you can get that damage. Reads the roll super hard though, and gets the back air. Not the dead air dead. Dodge, saving Zamba, amazing DI too. Zamba's staying alive. Dude, and what? You up smash he, he really just walked up and kicked the shit out of him. Just caught him with the up smash. Had and to give it to him, man. Whoo! He just had, he he had to, do. to do it to him. You he see how well up smash is able to rip opponents in, send them flying. And because of that, we're at the tied stock count. Tilde very much still has a pulse in this match. And Zamba not able to find the proper counter hit that could lead into that potential kill. And there's not enough damage yet for one raw smash attack Does to end it all. Does he have enough pulse to stop the bleeding, though? It looks like it could happen. He does get hit by his own gyro, as you see Zamba just kind of giving respect and space. But the walks from Tilde, gonna jump out of here, air dodge away, down tilt, pushing him to stage. That's his jump, Frank. What is he doing about the launch shot? He almost caught him with the back air, and Zamba doesn't close it out yet. Tilde holding on a little bit longer. Oh, but the getup attack is not going to go punished. Down tilt chains almost leading into back air, but it's not enough yet. That percentage is climbing. Tilde's at these kill percentages. Oh. We're moving to the ledge. Went for back air read again. Now he's at the range where he's going to force him into shield. He's throwing out a bunch of gyros to try and keep Tilde in shield. There's the phantasm in the, into neutral air. This is so close. Up, to, up tilt to Nair. Gets the damage. And one good up smash. Closes it out. The Nair gets a hit again. Zamba's stuck at ledge as he almost gets hit. The oh, the down tilt is going to be able to connect it. Zombie's just scrambling now, trying to find a hit. We're only seeing Nair's for Tilde, but the lasers are plenty from both players. We are at dead even percentages, oh, but we're it. not getting the kill. Oh, Bad what? DI on the up air, resets the bracket. What in the it's hell? time for another five games of Zombie Tilde. What in the hell was your DI? He tried to fade out after get, avoiding the back air, and he capitalizes him on the top with the up air, and we, in fact, have true finals. It's a reset, baby, until they Give me the stops zoom, Doc. It. I gotta know. I gotta know. Insane. Insane is all I have to say. Wow. We're gonna get ourselves, look at this right here. As he came in, yeah, he barely, got even, barely even got to see it. Up close. Going straight up, yeah, trying to done, fade son. out. That brings you to true finals. You Are done you ready goofed. for another potential five games of Samba Tilde? I have about as much gas left in the tank as these two up top there, but we are moving on. We have true finals. We have the reset. Tilde getting himself in after an incredibly close game five as he continues to pressure Zamba. And you already know, after losing that game, Zamba's got, Zamba's got to be feeling it mentally right now.
Yes, but he's still in the running. He's made fantastic adaptations. And if not for Tilde having an immeasurable clutch factor, it would have been his 3-2. But he's still in it. He made the changes he needed. Now it's a matter of carrying it on through. Who's to say if Zamba still can't win it out? Or if Tilde's going to go for the gold here in the reset? Regardless, they still got to win those three games. Absolutely. And those revert late hit reverse nares are actually working very well here for Zamba as he's starting to get a lot of damage. That that reflector lasts for so long, though. That is going to be big as he gets a cross up bear. Remember, having confidence going into this match matters so much, but if Zamba can slow the pace of the game down just enough, he can get himself back to a recollected moment and maybe bring it to where he was succeeding so well in those last few games. It wasn't even just that the match was at a more slow pace. It was that it was at a pace that Zamba was setting until they had difficulty playing at a pace that wasn't on his call. Here, Firing right back out from out of shield. First blood breaks in favor of Zamba, but he's got to keep at that pace as Tilde responds. Immediately answering with the Phantasm into fair. That, that jump range that Falco can get to, even at the high percents, he's going to capitalize. Multiple parries to saying, hey, look, I don't care about the gyro. I'm refusing to let you use that against me right now. Yeah, I, I appreciate what Zamba tried to do. The way that he stood on the platform making use of laser and gyro is very reminiscent of how many Rob mates, including Zamba himself, control Pokemon Stadium. Mm -hmm. But this is small battlefield we're starting this set on. You don't have the leisure of that space, and you don't have the leisure of Tilde dropping any of his reactions. Exactly. Adds old Tilde not reacting properly to those landings right there, getting hit by a couple of alt tilts. And Zamba just putting out a bunch of fares on retreat to make sure that if he does try to rush in on him, he has a hitbox answer for him. And that time, not falling for it, but the down air. I, I, Tilde's punish out of shield on down airs has been so good considering that Zamba has mostly had a gyro in hand, so he's just showing, I don't care about that. Yes, but you reach a point with the Rob where you have to respect Gyro in hand. None in there, though. Nothing's going to stop that up tilt the bear. Oh, he tried to go for the revert. Uh, to, to try to catch him with the side B. I was super scared that Tilde was going to go for the side B on him like he did in that last game to maybe snipe him, but not enough damage on him to actually force him to go low enough because Rob would have made that back. Yeah and you can't afford to throw away stocks. Neither of these players need freebies. And especially at this point in the game, you can't take that kind of stress on your mental fortitude. Exactly. Like, right, like we, we already saw, like we said before, getting reset in that fashion can definitely get to you. But Zamba's keeping it cool and collected. Currently have a hard time touching the ground, though, as he gets the jump. Oh! Ooh! All right. Stupid. Trying to yeah. get me on that. I, I like the attempt. Trying to wait to end out on the platform so he can get him with a grab mix-up. But Zamba's seeing through it. Trying to look a little cute with the air dodge downwards with the black pressure. I appreciate it, but that's not real, bro. You can't be doing that. Hey, sometimes the fake stuff works, but Zamba will here for it. Like you said, the, 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 the levels of mix-ups you have to do when you play each other this much. You have to be able to change it up and get people. Oh, he's walking again. He's about to kick him. All right, that time going for the forward air. He's going to force him back off stage. That's his jump. Oh, oh. all right. Tried to call out the little flickering. That's a lot of fuel used right here. And the air dodge in, actually, no, a lot of fuel uh, completely gone. Faces the wrong way, trying to go for the F tilt. You can see, again, he's feeling it right there. Gets the back air out of shield until they put himself up here in the lead. It's going to be another long It's going to be another one. It's going to be a long it's a, night. Chat, get ready. We got, we got, we got a, this is going to game 10, isn't it? This is going to game 10, isn't it? It's going to game 10. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Listen, if I gotta be stuck here watching this, I want the very best from these players. I wanna bleed them dry. Yeah, you know what? Shout out to everybody who stuck around. We had a haunt, like 192-ish people in total in the building earlier today. A lot of champs staying till the very end to see this Grand Finals come to a close. As we have a very good one here. Till they moving up in the lead, but as we saw in that last one, Till they can move up two games and Zamba's still able to run it back too. That's if Zamba could get out of these strings. He's got to cut it with these arm rotors, though. He's trying to make callouts where Tilde just isn't there. He's showing his hand too early. And look at the damage he takes because of one misstep. Yeah, it, it's just the, the it, advantage Falco has against that big character. You whiff one time for me. Oh, oh, wait! <laughs> All right. All right, that's I would have hated it, but I would have loved it at the same time. Oh, I because if you got hit by that, that's on you. I'm a very big proponent where as long as Town & City is around, you best believe you best take advantage of those If it is in the game, use it. Yep. If it gets you the W, use it. Yep. 
Uh, that's it. Oh, forward air dragged out into Delta. Yeah, that's going to confirm pretty much every single time, especially with the range. It's so easy to shield poke Rob with that short hop fair, but it's also great, when, especially when you know Rob has been excessively using down tilt to try and press you. These gyros need to start having more of an impact on this set, otherwise we've got Zombo struggling a lot here. It's just... It's normally such a strong zoning tool, but Tilde has so many readily available responses. And that was a pretty neat one in its own right. Mixing up your ability to return to the stage very drastically adjusts how valuable Gyro and Laser are. Oh, <laughs> oh and again, the reflector on the Gyro. Tilde's been making such good use of that tool. Exactly, and he's been so like incredible at keeping, like he's been playing with Elite so well as the, as it's gone along, because that was kind of something he was struggling with in game three and four in that last set, where Zamba, oh my God, get out of my skies. Absolute perfect homing attack, catching him with that for uh, forward smash. Oh, single hitter jack down there. Luckily for him, that's Rob, so he's gonna make that back. Being stuck in Rapid Jab actually gave him enough time to recharge his fuel. <laughs> oh my it's god. Really funny. <laughs> Dude, you helped me out, bro. Damn, what a what an air dodge call. Just like shooting him in the face. <laughs> We've seen Zamba do that multiple times, and I think that's why it's so good of Zamba to wait until he has the full laser charge mm. each and every time. Because little laser isn't giving him anything. No spot dodge reads, no air dodge reads, no big damage, big laser, big results. Bro, I love everything till they did a second ago. After going for that back air, realizing it missed, just going immediately in with the Phantasm, catching with the up smash, putting himself in the lead once again. Zamba taking a deep breath to see if he can actually rebound from it this time. He did a great job with it from the other games, but yeah, basically what you need to in your head at this point is, is you know what I beat him before I reverse 3 on him before uh, I was able to like almost get the reverse 3 out before I could possibly get to that point again it's just the key factor is can you make that happen as you're currently getting mixed once again drag down oh go for the back air raise that jump so Ooh. hard but he missed it and not finding the timing on the down air a little bit of a slight mishap from Tilde's movement but no capitalization from Zamba he's not even gonna fathom playing out this game too we're cutting right to game three he did he wanted nothing to do with having that stock end with a down air or something like that he missed he, that down air and he was like that's it I'm like, not here for it look at everything that rising dare that very slight hit of Nair catching him on the landing once again and he's just new all right he's You're not literally just buttons. moving to the left so he can SD yep yeah, just running off stage, put it like throwing his hands up, tossing he the controller. His controller up. Yeah, you can see, you can see the defeat in his eyes. You can see the, the defeat in the body language right now. I think, basically, it might have been everything left in the tank that he had was in that grand finals pre-reset. Now we are here in true finals. Does he have enough left in the tank? I think the body language is saying no. It's saying no, but the set count is very, very reminiscent of the first set of Grand Finals. Oh. Unfortunately for Zamba, Tilde's play is not. This is looking up like a fantastic start for Game 3. It's hard to find any tank, it, it, period. You can't refill that tank after getting bodied like that. It's kind of hard. But there we go, side B. That's not going to kill yet. Can you find that high back here, though? Forces the air dodge. Let's get the, uh, the frame trap out of that. Let's see what happens as he tries to touch the ground. Gyro's in place, but he misses that roll just by like, this much frame. This play is ridiculous. Zamba managing to turn around a complete 180 in the beginning of this game three. He found the gas tank. He found it. He's starting to make it happen. Oh, ooh, great mix up. After going for the up, air, uh, the up tilt, falling through the platform because he knew the air dodge was coming. Getting that damage on 48, 50. Yeah, pretty much 56%. Borderline unchecked here for Zamba. I said it once, AJ, I'll say it again. You can't sleep on either of these players until you see enough win screens to knock the other player out of bracket. They always have a chance, as long as they've got a game, as long as they've got oh. a stock. That down tilt pressure mixed up into the back air. Going high with them, that's your jump. Now he can follow you as much as he wants, or down air. And good fadeaway on that up B to get away from it. But there's the forward smash once again. The wave went back upwards angle forward smash. Are you kidding me? Zamba is, uh, you know what? He's all, he's fully awake. Apparently he just needs to get beat up a little bit in the first two games. It's like, you know what? I know what I was getting mixed up by, and I'm going to find the answers here. The voluntary SD to ass whooping combo? <laughs> 
Hey, Dude, man, he got those? Hey, that's the nature of this game, right? Rage, Vicario, all that. You got it. <laughs> you have to get beat down in order to be able to actually win in this game. As we're seeing Zamba showing an example of that right now, as he's continuously getting hit by this big string, he saved his jump though, so he didn't get hit by the fault because until they 100% wanted to air dodge there. Oh yes, sir. You know he's looking for any of those mishaps in the air. Oh, speaking of mishaps in the air, try and go for another one. All right. Plenty of fuel to still make it back. Tilde has an opportunity to get back in. And granted, a couple of those Phantasms, while being behind in the stock, that could lead to some very bad spots. It's worth noting how Zamba is still up that stock, and he's got Tilde almost on lapped percentage. Yeah. Which we haven't seen this, even while Zamba was finding the reversal in the first set of Grands. This is looking really good for Zamba. Whatever he did amongst SDing over in game two, woke him up proper here. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's like, you know what? I'm done with this one. Much like that stock, Ob Smash coming in. Tilde now has him at match point again. Can he close it out this time? In the first set, he had it. Oh, actually, no, he got the reset. But he was able, this time, has him here at match point. 102, though, so he's got to worry about this potential back air. No, he actually just forces him high. Wow. Another he, high He's so ballsy. Valkyrie. Why would you do that? He did it, though. He got away with it. He keeps on going for it because Zamba's is consistently positioning himself for low or lateral recoveries. But here, another side beyond shield is punished with up smash, and Zamba still alive. Zamba, it's holding. like I told you, my friend. We're in it for the long run. We're haul. going to game ten, man. We are going to game if ten. If Zamba keeps playing like that, we're going to game ten. Oh man, it's it's on its way. Alrighty, game nine coming up next. Tilde could not close it out there with the set point, and he whiffed like he's like we're saying on shield. The big thing here is how can, can Tilde now rebound? He he was able to get he got into the head of Zamba, but right now stamina is in play. Can you keep it together? Can you focus hard enough to close it out? No need for stage switch. We're running it right back here to small battlefield. Which makes a lot of sense because Tilde has been playing the stage very well all night tonight. However, I think Zamba's done plenty to showcase that he can play out this stage just as well. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, though. Look at actually, that's pretty much how that first game, uh, first stock went, too. He capitalized massively. He couldn't close it out, though. And then Zamba ran it back and got the game anyway. So that damage is always going to happen. You always have to accept that that combo damage is coming. How do you answer afterwards? Not going to die just yet either. Staying alive a little bit longer. And. I mean, technically, Falco's kind of at Gil Present right now. All he needs is one good fourth throw off stage, <laughs> and he can find a side B or a down air and just take the lead. That's true, but every time Zamba's gone for something like that, he's been punished really oh. hard for it. Oh, that was so smart. Like, he reflected that back and used the back air as a hit stun stall. Just kind of, like, wait and not get hit by it rather than give up his air dodge. Ooh, forcing an air dodge out with the up air. And once again, but this time the air dodge inwards is going to kill Zamba, trying to land on Tilde, proving to be fatal once again. But Zamba's not letting up the gas. He's trying to press forward while Tilde has 91%. Time to hold forward, baby. Go ahead and go in. There you are. Get the grab. Forcing the fourth throw, opting the ledge trap here instead of trying to DI mix up. Granted, he's at low enough percents where I don't think he believes hard enough that up air would kill or even out smash. But a few pummels. We'll take it. As we're seeing a whole lot of uh, shots out. Actually, Tilde playing the camp game now. It's like, I don't want to approach. Air dodge down, though. That's going to get punished hard. so smart from Zamba. Oh, managing to track where Tilde was because he knew that up air was going to be able to threaten the kill, especially if he managed to catch him slipping on that DI. Exactly. Oh, a couple up tilts now. Doesn't get the down air. He's looking for it. He's trying to look for a jump out of Zamba in that position. <laughs> Immediately coming in. He got the frame trap. Going to get him once again. Finds the down air. And the aggressive up air out of that. Not trying to go for a tech place or anything. He's trying to go right back at him. I kind of like it though. Swinging at a disadvantage that heavily as a big target like Rob against a combo heavy character is almost unheard of. But sometimes that zero IQ play, that underflows to being genius options. Now, one of the best ways to catch a lot of top players off guard is be unorthodox as hell. Just throw out something that doesn't make sense at all every once in a while. And don't get, you only have an opportunity to use it like once a set, but it'll catch someone off guard. Right now though, it looks like it could be, again, the possible end of the set here for Zamba as he's getting mixed. That's the air dodge. He's starting to get scared. You see Tilde getting in on him, and that is, we're pretty much roaching the part where it seems like Tilde is getting ready to take the tournament. The crowd's going wild because they see it. They feel it. Blood is in the air. Tilde's on the hunt to end this tournament here and now. 
But Zamba back against the wall. He's got to do something to end out this stock. But he's got a long road ahead of him. Only 37% is built up onto Tilde. Meanwhile, Tilde's done a wonderful job of putting the pressure out onto Zamba. That's how it starts. Finding that anti-air right there with the up tilt. He doesn't get the back air. He wanted to jump out of ledge. But because of the Phantasm, it gave him stage positioning. Now he's forced to recover high. Does he go for the up smash off the platform? No, he just gives him the respect. He's trying to go for forward airs instead just to push him off stage. All right, the damage is on. Zamba very capable of being able to take this. Where are we going? We're going down! It's last stock situation once again. Plenty of damage is built up onto Zamba. AJ, I'm getting flashed back. Oh, he got the roll read in though. He only gets the nair. He doesn't get the off air or the back air in that spot. And the air dodge is directly in front of him. He tries to go for forward to get the neutral, get a poke. That's the jump. He forces him down. He gets the down so into the grab. Zamba is starting to wake up. Where you said it before, I still, you still have to fear this here. That's a nair air dodge read. All of a sudden, Zamba is in a position. He might just take the game away. Get back, baby! Zamba's still out here! He is bringing us to the very end of this tournament! Game 10! I knew it! You knew it! And here we are. This man died at 81. Look at this, the control that he had. He forced him to recover high. He knew it was gonna happen. 81, after, or 83, whatever. After the hit, caught him, looking all kind of silly right there. And he dies off the top. What? Game 10. Grand Finals. This. Hold the line. Tilde versus Zamba. It's the only way it could have properly ended. This is the end. There's no more cushion. There's no more return. There's no more adaptation. You cash in. This is the end of the night. All bets are off. No more chances for either of them. Every mistake matters that much more right now. Up to finding in there, getting that damage on. And Tilde has been so on point with these grounded walks. But when he's getting scared, we talk about Zamba getting scared with those, some of those air dodges. Tilde runs in too fast. And he puts himself in disadvantage so quick. Honestly, I'm not even scared for Zamba with the fact that he's eating all of this damage because this has been the same note that's been repeated over and over and over in all nine previous games mm -hmm. of this Grand Finals. No matter how hard Zamba's back is pushed against the wall, oh. he still has options. He's not dead yet, but I gotta say, the amount of times that Zamba's had hard redefensive option calls, up tilt to up air, not dead yet. Good DI coming in from Tilde. The gyro forces the jump, and he tries to catch him on the platform, does not get it. Tilde needs to find ground ASAP. Back air almost once again threatening for the kill, but Tilde in fantastic fashion, finding his back air. But again, that's not killing either. Both of these gentlemen have been fine-tuned to di what's being expected, but not unexpected options like that up air. Actually, personally, I prefer the air, baby, catching him with the up air off the top. That's your jump, though. Zamba trying to force you to roll on. He does, but he does nothing about it. And now he's got to hold the shower again. However, you still got to be super careful here for Tilde, because you know he's hunting for up smash out of shield soon. He's not getting the second dash that he needs in order to properly oops, space the down smash. He does find his up throw on a platform though. Really important because he was right by the edge and he almost didn't get it. Absolutely, okay, now stuck at the ledge. Speaking of that, then nares. Something Zama's been able to cash in on a bunch is these nares on tech reads on platforms and the air dodges have been super point. Oh, side B, that might kill here. That's we gonna kill. We finally get an arm roller confirmed that's killing at an early percent. And now Zama, for the first time, has an extremely comfortable Lead. And see if he can capitalize on it here as Tilde trying to push the pressure on, trying to get in. Zamba kind of holding center stage. You come to me, baby. I'm not going to you. I want you to fight me over here as Tilde puts himself on the top of a platform and now taking a lot of damage, getting Tech Chase read, it, uh, read as well. This is looking really bad here, Frank. Tilde is falling apart at the seams, but he's still swinging at every opportunity that Zamba gives him. This is so intense. And even now, even now, you still have to be super respectful of the fear that Tilde can do to you if you're Zamba. Because he gets the drag downs, he gets the follow up fair. Where do you go? You go to the skies? He almost had to read there with the air up tilt. The up tilt's going to push him back out. Striking on shield, really dangerous for Tilde. He's going to eat another laser. And the gyro not shot out yet. A little bit of hesitation from Zamba allows Boom. him to keep this corner pressure. Forcing oh. the early air dodge. This is the reaction. Don't call it a comeback. Taking it out at the end of it all. Zamba in multiple situations where it looked like he was going to be shut down until they was going to take it. Zamba is the one to end it all. 
catches him after he forced the air dodge off stage and capitalized big. Here we go. As soon as he was forced in that situation, all I need is one mic and one dub. Get to catch him with that down air and takes hold the line. That's the Prince of New York right there. Woo! That's no fluke. That's no accident. That's your winner tonight big because applause, he big is applause consistently proving how good of a competitor that he is at every level of play. Absolutely. The adaptations brought to the brink of disaster, not once but twice. That, and he still clutches it out. I thought he was done at one point. When he was down two games in that grand finals reset, he, he just put his hands up in the air. Like, he looked so stressed out, looked so done, but not done at all. Incredible play from Zamba. Incredible play from Tilde. Incredible play from everyone tonight. Uh, you had you know the great run from Ling Ling, the uh, the fantastic comeback run from Tilde, and then all the other ones. You had numbers in there. You had Suarez. You had Light going down in seventh. Who like even after going down in that match against Adamus, was looking incredible on the losers run too. But that is gonna be it for tonight. And I. Could not be happier. I this was the perfect way to end the first Hold the Line. Mm -hmm. And I'm incredibly proud of you for being able to pull all of this together. I hope you had a hell of a time, because I know I, did. I sure did. I did. Like I said, I'm trying to fight back some tears right now, because being able to put this together, uh, one of the big things for uh, CT post uh, our, our time away, we'll call it, is that uh, we came back and a lot of our venues shut down and we didn't have big regionals or anything to go to. Luckily, we still had all the cons. We had CT GamerCon and everybody shouts at Clipboards in a for that. But being able to put this together, having this come together with the, and also big shout out to Chavo. This was all his idea in the first place. So make sure you throw some love to Chavo out there. The tower is coming together with Collision and with House. This isn't going to be the first time you see this tournament. This will not be last of course we have a lot of them coming up in the future but thank you so much for everybody for being in the chat once again shout out to zamba for taking the dub i love and appreciate everybody who is here all tonight i'm so glad i got to have fun with you once again on a top eight i wouldn't have it any other way man but for us that's it tonight thank you so much for riding along the way with us but have a good night